because most, first of all, Facebook, they're, they are built to keep people on Facebook, not in your group. And so most, because of that, most people experience a Facebook group, uh, threaded in between other posts from other, in other contexts. So you actually lose the context in a Facebook group because most of your members are moving, uh, moving very quickly from news articles or outraged friends and family because outrage actually is much more likely to be surfaced and, um, and spread through and to more people because of the way the Facebook algorithm works. Mm -hmm. And so your group is fighting for attention of any individual in that context. And you have absolutely no control who sees which posts from your group at any point in time that is completely controlled by the algorithm in the, in the black box that is Facebook. So on a mighty network, you are able to share with people that coming from Facebook, this is just a different thing. It's like mm -hmm. having our own Facebook where whether it's topics, whether it's courses, whether it's subgroups, our feeds are comprised of all the things that are the most relevant to you. And then you as the host, you, the member, you as the host at any point in time, everybody will always see your, uh, your posts. And you can notify all members. Is all IP That's and all time. data and stuff um, in ownership of the uh, community owner? Yeah. So the way that that our you know our terms of service work is you know you own your community. So it, it, we own the software because that's how how we are able to do all the things we're able to do. But in terms of your members own their content, you have a hundred percent access to. Uh, all your, you know, what your members are doing, including their email address and, and what activities and what they're contributing. Um, and that is how we sort of structure it. We just have a license to, uh, to be able to run people's content and contributions. And you as the host have full access to member data as well as content, as well as analytics.